see, back in the day, I ain't care. I didn't care about, I didn't even care about living. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing to live for. I'm taking, risking, like, I'm, I got in so many shootouts. Like, I almost died so many times, man. I almost went to jail so many times. But I ain't care what I, what do I got to live for, man. Like, it's just me. I ain't got no kids. I ain't got, I ain't got no, like, real serious relationship. I ain't got nobody to, no family to take care of, so. I'm just out here, Vlad, like with my homies, you know, we doing. Yeah. But now, Vlad, I got a chance of a life. I can't fuck this up, Vlad. Yeah, I mean, you're you're setting up multi-generational wealth. Yeah, like, yeah. and th- that's all I think about, Vlad. Like, I know all the shit that I had to see when I was a kid, Vlad. I, I seen the nigga, niggas' brains on the floor when I'm seven years old. Like, I'm like... I literally was retarded. Like I didn't even know I was crazy until I get to go into every state and I'm seeing how they, they is in their hoods. And I'm like, man, I'm fucked up. I'm seeing how regular people really is, man. Yeah, but with that, and this is something that I think too many rappers have fallen victim to, is that they don't put that part of their life behind them. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? When you look at the situations... You know, with like, you know, most recently wife and Lucci, you look yeah. at Casanova two times. Uh, you look at Rallo, you look at A.R. Ab, um, you know, you look at Boosie, who was sitting on death row at one point. Mm-hmm. You know, Boosie said, like, you can't be a gangster and a rapper at the yeah. same time that those two things just do not work like, together. I look at the shit like this, Vlad. I already did that shit, Vlad. What am I? I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Nah. Everybody from my neighbor, you know me. You know what I, you know, you, you know, like y'all ain't, ain't yeah. nothing you can say to, like nothing you can say that I ain't, you, they know, you know. Yeah. I did all that, Vlad. It's, like I said, it's niggas like Jay-Z out here. Like, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at it. Like, mm-hmm. if somebody could do it, I could do it. You know, I just watch what they do and yeah. I try to do it better. So. And you've been doing it. Um, I, I ain't, I ain't there yet. <laughs> but I'm, well, it's a, I'll, I'll say this: at twenty six, Jay Z ain't where you're at. I'll tell you that. Uh, I got a nice start. I you got, got a, you got a nice start. You got a nice head start. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so Vivi, man, I truly appreciate you coming in. We've been trying to do this for a while now. We had a few few false starts along the way, <laughs> but this time, man, we we did it. And uh, I think this is an important story that people could learn from. You know, which is really why why I do what I do. You know, For to sure, right. to really record history and record important people yeah. during this era. And you know, your story is important, and and you know, your story tied into Juice Worlds is very important because not a lot of people can tell that story. Yeah, you know, what I mean, and I think he has a very important story and a very important lesson. Um, mm-hmm. you know, and so congratulations on your success, and I think we have a lot more to see. Mm-hmm. You know, in the years to come. Thanks, Vlad, man. Appreciate you, Vlad. Yes, sir. Peace. All right, peace.